Eh, god damn it. Can I have one fishing game where it doesn't give me old shoes? Thank you. That better come in fucking handy. Oh, that's not good. Should probably go see our friend. Here we are. Damn. Here they come. Remember, set your eyes on the ones with bright jelly. They should be visible enough. They said that said, pop as many as you can, you'll get glims anyway. Now wait for you inside, it's just too hard for me to stay out there. Okay, go ahead. I believe in you. Wait, what? Oh, just, just, okay. Right, get back here. I can't get you. You, you got right, Jelly. Give me. Got you. What kind of jump is that? Come on, I get that one. No, I can't. Fuck this up. Okay. I'm really impressed. You rocked out there, tumbling and diving like a shooting star. I'm without the slightest fear nor hesitation at that. You definitely haven't lost your touch, Stella. And you even have enough bright jelly to build a proper kitchen, did I? Go for it. I'll be patiently waiting. Slowly digesting myself. I have to get better at that. Let's see. Oh, cool. I can make it higher. Right, I'm going to put it down here. And attach it to that. Okay, so if I go in here, does that let me... Nope. Damn it, I was hoping that would let me kind of do stuff like that. Yeah. And now use the kitchen's oven. It should be rather simple. Put any one ingredient in the oven and wait for it to be cooked. Mm -hmm. You could even try those loose corn kernels that have been digging around my pockets. Where do you have pockets? No, seriously, where do you have pockets? I can't wait to see you in your cooking glory again. You got this. Okay. Cook. I eat herring. Uh, it's not cooked, is it? Don't ask me how, but I've met Albert already. He definitely is a shark, but his interest in all things maritime will be helpful. Such as the boat upgrades he sells at an outrageously high price. With those, you'll be able to cross ominous weather barriers in the world. They look like classic mythical challenges again. A bit cliche, if you ask me. Hug. Aww. It's hungry. Well, well. Go for an amuse bu amuse bush. Right, I think I was meant to just do one. One. Cook. 
I'm just gonna, I'm, I'm running against the wall because I'm just admiring the just the smoothness of the animation. Bloody hell! Oh, you adorable kitty! I love this cat. Oh, it's too dark. Okay. Still. Ah, yes. I forgot to tell you about this. As you can see, this boat stops at night. I believe it's a side effect of your ever light being well light. Or some other technicality. Mm -hmm. That being said, it'll allow people to sleep undisturbed. You in the meantime can do anything. You can tackle unfinished business or just chill on the deck under the stars. I suggest you sleep too, in that cozy little room atop your cabin. Mm -hmm. You'll wake up refreshed and ready to go, and the ship will start up again in the morning. Oh, and speaking of that, you know me, waking up on time has never been my forte. Mm -hmm. You can ring that big bell over there to wake people up. Remember, only do it at the right mm -hmm. time. Early morning should do the trick. Speaking of sleep, time for me to take a nap. See you tomorrow, Stella. Mm -hmm. Have a good night. Hooray! Can I just go to bed after while cooking fish? Fuck it. Don't do this at home, by the way. I don't know if that's a natural loading screen or because if she woke up when I pressed X. <sighs> okay, that does work the way I expect it to. I want to, I want to cook the corn. Oh, that cooks really fast. I won't die just yet. Thanks, Del. It's better than I thought it could be. But then again, you've always been a wonder in the kitchen. Why does she have cake? Don't forget, spirits don't run on sunshine and water. We need a good meal once in a while. It'll be up to you to understand who's fond of what. As for me, I'm sure you remember I've always loved comfort food. And I would die for a cup of coffee. But I'm not that picky. I can eat anything. Mm -hmm. Just never the same thing twice. Oh, and before I forget, here's something I was supposed to give you. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure exactly how it works, but an obol is a symbol of passage. It's a fee each spirit has to pay you. But something tells me you knew that already. Mm -hmm. Nope. Okay, let's keep on proving this craft. As you must have seen in your blueprint table, there's both a field and a garden blueprint. Mm -hmm. Which means you can grow many different things. And turn the ship into an adorable farm of sorts. You should add a field first, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. It's going to be easier to find resources for it around here, and you can grow linen in it. Which in turn will be used to craft more things. In addition to building a field, we can, should go buy seeds to use in it. But that'll come later. I need you to visit an island close by. It's called Mostine Cove, and there's something on it we need. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you when we get there. A popcorn! I take it I'm going up here. Stella! You know, I'm delighted that you're here with me. I'm not surprised one bit. It adds up. You here taking care of me in my final hours. You've always cared so damn much about others. Always protected those you found vulnerable. Even pedantic snobs like me. Remember the day my father yelled at the cat? We just got out of elementary school. You were wearing those blue sneakers with the glittery tags. And here, there you were, yelling back at my father like you were on a mission. Mm -hmm. Father turned red and smashed a purple Delano vase. It was rad. Weird. Mm. Nope, not hungry yet. Okay. I should probably stop shoving food in people's mouths. But if I regularly at least keep fishing, because I've only got one spirit, but I'm going to bank we're going to get a lot more. 
Can I get something other than a hearing, please? Uh, now what's the vision? Approach. Ooh. That's quite cool, it's in the background. Look at that. Moss Tying Cove discovered. We should hop on that island over there. Maybe we'll find something interesting. What, you're actually coming with? You know, you can sit down too. Majestic tree. Well, you can cut it down. Yes, it's fine, I promise. Mm -hmm. It's the best way to get the wood you need, actually. But don't worry, they regrow over time. Another interesting fact about the Everlight. <laughs> oh, cool. Run, Daffodil! Congratulations, for you have become death, the destroyer of worlds! Joke aside, that's how you do it. Mm. You go on ahead cutting down more trees. Then we can go back to the boat and build the field with all the maple logs. I'll be bit next to the raft. Do, 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 do. Give me berries. Ooh, raspberries. This game wasn't what I expected, and I'm very glad for it. I was just told platformer with man like a sim management kind of style, but no one met Daffodil. If I could stop yelling Daffodil, that'd be lovely. Oh. Oh, okay. I can't just hold. <laughs> Kame, Kame, smash! Oh, wow. Is that the end? Yes, it is. Back, in, back on screen, Stella. Oh, the reflection! Oh, god damn it. <laughs> Daffodil just running on Everlight. Very small island. Okay, she's just gonna stand there. I don't need to bring her back. Yep, yep. So we're building a field. Put it there. Let's go. Let's go there. I make it. Yes. Ha! It's better looking than I thought. There's a little je ne sais quoi to it. Simple but elegant. Now all you have to do is to plant field seeds in there. Seeds can grow only in their respective places. Garden seeds won't grow in a field, so don't bother trying. Mm. But you know me, I would kill a, pla a plastic cactus, so don't take my word on this. Anyway, there's only one place where we could possibly find what we need. Theodore specializes in seeds. Mm. You set up shop in Hummingburg, the busiest town of the area. Theodore and his brothers are the founders of Raccoon Inc., a shady retail franchise with very loose moral values. That's not a good thing. Yes, this world has a serious problem with dubious business practices. Mm. Since I don't want you to get swindled, I'll come with you and do most of the talking. I've run into this cheeky little raccoon once and his dishonesty was blatant. Mm. Let's head to Hummingburg then. Mm. We just need to find some seeds for that field. Don't I have seeds that I find that in the crates? No.
Might as well fill up while I've got it. Whee. I'm gonna keep checking Stella's mood. Oh, there's crates there. We don't need to go there yet. Dart, I'll hold off on that. Let's get going on this. I've just realized that's linen, and she likes linen, and that's going to mess me. Hopefully that does things soon. I was trying to go for the coffee. I should have kept one free. <laughs> 